Hey everybody, it's Mike with RCA and we're back with another unboxing. Today we're going to unbox the RCA Home Theater Sound Bar with wireless subwoofer. The model number is RTS7113WS. Alright, so let's get into it. Are you listening? Damn. All right, so let me just give you some high level specs about the unit. Total output power is 60 watts. You've got multiple inputs, including line in, um, aux in, coaxial in, optical in, um, and you also have Bluetooth. So you can cast music from a Bluetooth enabled device, such as your phone. So let's talk about what you see when you first open the box. You're gonna notice that the sound bar and the subwoofer are wrapped uh, separately. So uh, along with the sound, sound bar and the subwoofer, you're going to see uh, two DC power adapters. So one will power the sound bar, one will power the subwoofer. Um, and you're also going to have a remote and a quick start guide and a brief little paper outlining um, instructions on how to pair the subwoofer to the sound bar. So the sound bar itself is really elegantly designed, very sleek and clean. Um, it is 37 inches long, so it will look better with your larger TVs. Obviously, you can use it with whatever you'd like, uh, but as far as aesthetics, it would probably look better next to you know uh, a TV 37 inches or uh, larger. All right, so let's talk about this remote that's included with your soundbar. So the remote has basic functions such as volume up and down, controlling your treble and your bass. It also has playback functionality, so you can play and pause, um, go forward or back on a music track. So if you were controlling um, a playlist or a song that you're casting via Bluetooth, uh, that would work exceptionally. Um, also, you can switch input. So there are shortcut keys for Bluetooth aux and so forth, but you can also use the source um, buttons to toggle through those inputs as well. So let's talk about the LED indicators um, that illuminate when an input is selected. Um, so let's power on the sound bar. And you hear a nice chime. So once the four LEDs stop blinking, it should rest on Bluetooth, which was the last input that I had selected before I turned the unit off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the source buttons on the remote and select the different uh, inputs. So now I'm in aux in, digital, and line in. And I'll go back to Bluetooth. There's the chime again. Also, I'll use the volume button. Now watch what happens when I hit the volume button. So as I turn the volume up, the LEDs illuminate. I'll cut it back down. And the LEDs go back down. It does the same for the treble and the bass. So as you adjust the treble and the bass, LEDs go up and down. And again, this is just me pressing these buttons on the remote. So if you're setting up the soundbar for the first time, you're going to need to pair the subwoofer to the soundbar. So go ahead and make sure you've got the soundbar turned on and you've got it set to Bluetooth. Um, and then you're gonna come to the back of the subwoofer and you're gonna press this button just once. Um, pressing it once, wait 30 seconds, and that should pair the subwoofer to the soundbar. All right, so I wanna demonstrate how you can pair a device such as your phone um, to the soundbar. So I've got my Bluetooth settings pulled up on my phone. I go into Bluetooth and it's gonna search for devices that I haven't uh, connected to previously. This soundbar is gonna come up underneath the name of Bluetooth, so I'm gonna select it. And as you can see, it has connected underneath my devices. So now I'm just gonna test this out. I'm gonna play some music. So I'm gonna pull up Google Play Music and I'm going to look for a station. I'm just gonna play new and trending. And there you have it. So we're casting music to the sound bar from your phone, and you can do this with any device that's Bluetooth enabled. So let's go over these inputs that are on the back of the sound bar. So the first one you're gonna see is the uh, digital N. Next is the optical. 
And then these buttons right here, so the first one is the power, and the next one is the Bluetooth, so you can actually just press down on them. Um, and then I'm using the aux in, so you see that I've already got my cables in. Next to the aux in, you've got the volume up and down. Um, again, buttons just like the Bluetooth and the power. And then you've got the DC adapter in. So this is where you're gonna plug your DC adapter that comes with the sound bar. Um, I did wanna note that the unit does not come with aux uh, cables or optical or a line in or a digital in or any of those cables. So you will have to purchase those separately. So really nice design. I mean, when you when you take a look at the sound bar and you're trying to find something that complements the rest of your media room or your home living decor, I mean, it's, it's very complimentary, uh, really nice sleek design. It's got this really nice polished black plastic with the mesh speaker grill. Um, so it's, it's really nice um, and it's a really nice aesthetic, really clean look for your living room. So let's take a look at the wireless subwoofer that comes with the sound bar. So on the front, you have the RCA badge, and a nice shiny plastic. And then on the side, you've got the speaker mesh. And as I turn the subwoofer around, you'll see you've got the area for the DC power in. So this is the, the other power adapter that comes with uh, the kit. And then the button beside it is the button that you would press to pair the subwoofer to the sound bar. So where do you get this amazing sound bar and wireless subwoofer? So you can pick it up now at Walmart for a really incredible price at $88. Uh, you're going to be really pressed to find a, another sound bar with a wireless subwoofer for that price point, and we're really proud of it. So remember, 60 watts total output power, wireless subwoofer, Bluetooth enabled, multiple inputs including line in, aux, optical, coaxial, so multiple inputs to connect to your TV. Um, again, you can use that line in to connect an iPhone or an iPod or another device that has that 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, so just all around a really good device for your living room or bedroom or wherever you'd like to set it up. And we're really proud of it and we hope that you go out and pick one up for yourself. So that's it for this unboxing. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a nice thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you can be alerted when we release new videos and unboxings. Make sure you turn those notifications on though. Additionally, leave comments if you have questions or concerns or like more information about a particular product. We are monitoring these comments and we would love to chime in and help you out should you need help. So thanks again for tuning in and until next time.